Once more we have a camera set up with two screens and this time around we want to work on the outer edges of the screens with a bit of keystoning in order to basically leave out a bit of the outer edge. The final step will be that we'll have a loop playing on top of the keystone area. Just like with the previous lesson, we'll grab a sample pixel grid and put it onto layer 1 so that we can see what it is we're actually doing. First of all, we want to take care of the keystoning, which means we'll go to output number 1 and then to the keystoning parameters. Keystoning refers basically to the way we use these trapez settings. We can adjust how far the keystoning should go using rotation and angle settings. We will mostly use this when using projectors, when one is for example projecting onto a flat surface in order to straighten the lines and to make the picture look visually correct. We're using a slightly different setup using monitors here, but the principle is the same. This would come in use for example in case the monitors or screens are part of a theatre stage design where the edges are behind the set pieces but we might still want our picture only to be visible within the boundaries of the set piece. Once we have set up the keystoning for both screens, we will then proceed by saving everything a little bit further along the timeline. And with the outputs this way, we'll just make the clips a little bit longer so that we have these settings on the timeline select them and make them a little bit longer and now we can select our cameras once more and using the align command at the bottom right we can move the X offset simultaneously towards the right position we'll save this to the timeline as well once we've done it and once more We'll make the two clips with the camera presets a little bit longer so that we can start with the actual programming a bit further along the timeline. We now choose a clip. And once we've chosen the clip, we'll move up the opacity, set it to play loop, then we'll scale it using the X parameter until we see that it reaches the borders of the keystoning and so that it doesn't show our content beyond those borders. Once we've done that, we should save all of that to the timeline so that we have a predefined frame here within which the projection can actually take place.